Good morning. Today is February 7, 2012. We are interviewing Mrs. Jill Beck via Skype at Roundtown Elementary School. Good morning, Mrs. Beck. We understand that you were a student at Roundtown Elementary and that your boys have both attended this school. We have some questions about your time as a student here. What are one or two classroom memories of your time here? Well, I remember a lot about being at Roundtown, but as Mrs. Musson probably shared with you already, the old building was a lot different than your building. So I remember that it was a one hallway school and there were only six classrooms. So where you guys have like over 20 classrooms, we got to know the kids in the other classrooms a little better because there was a lot fewer students. But I remember um, fun times like we had gym class in the cafeteria because there was no gym. And we would um, play parachute games where our gym teacher named Mr. Groover would get out the giant brightly colored parachute and we would have to run under it and race to the other side and play a whole bunch of games with that. I remember that so clearly, just like it was yesterday, even though it was over 30 years ago, believe it or not. I also remember running around on the playground chasing my friends because I, I think that no matter whether you lived 30 years ago or now, chasing your friends on the playground is one of the funnest things to do when you're a kid. <laughs> What do, you, what do you remember about your teachers? I remember all my teachers around town, um, but there was one teacher in particular who inspired me. She reminds me a lot of your teacher, Mrs. Musson, because she was very creative. Her name was Miss Fritchu when I had her, but later she married um, and had a different name. Um, she was young and beautiful and smart, and she made me work really hard. And she inspired me to be a better student because she was such a wonderful role model to me. I just loved coming to school every day to see her. My other teacher that stands out in my memory the most was a male teacher. His name was Mr. Hosterman. And Mr. Hosterman taught at Century Oak School District for many, many years. And sometimes he still even substitute teaches at Central York. So maybe you've seen him around. When I was at Roundtown, I just loved going to school every day to see my teachers because they were great inspiration to me. What did your friends enjoy doing at Roundtown? We loved the jungle gym on the playground. Some of us took lessons for music um, because when I went to Roundtown, fourth graders and fifth graders were at Roundtown also. So we would learn our band instruments or our string instruments and we would have lessons at school. Now you know I'm a music teacher, so even as a child I loved music and always, always looked forward to my music lesson. I also enjoyed phys ed class and my other specials like art and music class. I remember that it was very, very much like your school day. When we would come in in the morning, we would unpack, and we would get our things ready and do our morning work. And then each teacher would put on the board what the schedule was. So sometimes we would start with social studies or math, um, and then we would go throughout our subjects through the day and our specials and our lunch and our recess just like you do but there was something at Roundtown when I was there that was really really different you guys have a nurse's office a health room when you're sick right so if you don't feel good you can go visit Mrs. Matter or Mrs. Mix but when I was a kid at Roundtown there was no health room 
there was just a little sofa in the hallway. So if you were sick, you had to lay down on the bed in the hall. And you guess what? Most people didn't want to get sick because it felt really, really weird to lay on a bed in the hallway where everybody could see you. And since there was no nurse, if you were sick, one of the secretaries in the office is who would take care of you. So I think that's a really big difference from the round town you know, but most of the school day was a lot just like yours. We also have some questions about you as a parent at this school. Do your kids feel the same way about Roundtown? Yes, yes. My children loved their four years at Roundtown, kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. I think the greatest thing about Roundtown is that there's a very close sense of community and family. And even though your school is bigger than it was when I went there, you still get to know people in and other classrooms and other teachers and everyone makes you feel loved. So my sons always came home feeling like they had a big family at Roundtown in addition to our own family. And I think it's really special to be able to treasure those friendships and bonds that you get to make at your primary school. What are some of the memories you and your kids have about Roundtown? My boys, named Tim and Ben, always loved the book fair. We really looked forward to going and shopping for books, and they would always try to talk me into some little gadgets like erasers and stuff like that, too. We, um, we all talked about recess and the fun assemblies like Jonathan Sprout. My boys loved the Jonathan Sprout assemblies. And most importantly, my boys loved their teachers. Now, neither of my boys was fortunate to have Mrs. Musone, but they were very also fortunate to have Miss Johnson for third grade, and they loved Miss Johnson. She's a wonderful teacher. So they just would come home gushing wonderful stories to me about Roundtown every day, and it really made me feel happy because I felt like their childhood was really connected to my childhood, too. How did you participate as a parent? Well, as you know, I'm a music teacher, so during the school day, I couldn't go to Roundtown very much, so I couldn't be a mom helper or help with kid writing or things like that. So I tried to be very active with my children's homework and with out-of-school times, things like the skating parties, I would always go and roller skate with them. And, of course, I would always attend the parent conferences with the teachers. And I would just try to participate in May Day and as many out-of-school activities as I could. And is there anything else you would like to share? I would just like to repeat that the Roundtown building, the actual bricks and stones, might have changed but the people are just as kind and loving as they always were when I was there. And I just wanted to remind you all, students in Mrs. Musson's class, how very, very blessed and lucky you are to be at such a great school. And it makes me feel so happy and proud to see all of you doing so well. And I just wanted to thank you very much for letting me be part of your really cool assignment that you're working on. Thank you. Thank you, third grade.